Right, hello and welcome back to another video guys. So the whole engine has been changed. The ECU is still on the same old engine. Um, injectors hasn't been coded in. It is a smoking, as in like, you know, light blue smokish. Um, obviously I'll code it in, hopefully eliminate it one at a time, but I'll show you how to code it in using the hotel machine. I've done a lot of videos on how to code as well. But as you can see on here as well, and it's a bit rough um now it sounds all right just at the beginning so it's a stop start so i'll pair it all up once done i'll show you the next step so i'm just doing a full scan anyway first um just to see what's what and what's not so here you are you've got a cylinder pressure circuit circuit let me erase and see what comes back positive anyway So obviously there is something going on. I know it's clean everything, but once you turn it on and off a few times or drive it, it will ping back on. Uh, anyway, so if we go back on here, just gonna turn it on as well. Usually if you turn it on and off a few times, it triggers sensors to be fair. Um, on here, so it's come back a cylinder, they're all circuit, 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 maybe it's actually to do with the um, coding. Do, do, do. Let's have a look. Turbo charge. Um, right. Um, let's come off this. Oops. Let's come off this. See if it actually allows us to do the. Um, if you go into hot functions. Let's just say, let's just say it's equipped. Advanced injectors, fuel injector, wireless injector, flow rate programming. So, turn the ignition on. So, they're the injectors, okay? They're the old ones. Um, I really don't know, but I'm going to try it. Obviously, these are the new injectors. Um, as you can see there the codes on every single one um, what I'm gonna do is start off with this one edit um, so erase it all so if I'm not mistaken it is actually this one here 81 so I am on cylinder 2 obviously I've just done one so you continue uh, invalid okay let's just try that again uh, I might be wrong somewhere, so if you are wrong, you will just correct it. Yeah, I have changed it to oh, it was zero before, and then what you do is right options, so it kind of overrides the old, and then you go into edit. So I'm on the next one. I hope I'm doing it the right way around. By that I mean it's like one, two, three, four, and not one, two, three, four that way. But it'll tell us in a sec. Here we go. So hit continue, right option, and then from here. So these are the new ones. Continue. Let's turn the ignition off. Um, it will be off for about 30 seconds, maybe. We'll find out. So, ignition off. There we go. So, oh, yeah. Box was about 18, 20 seconds. Ford is about 30 seconds, or even a minute sometimes. So, let that do it. So I'll turn the uh, tell us probably turn the ignition back on. Turn the ignition on. There we go. Perform successful. Oh, so lovely. So that was that that was the right way. One, two, three, four. Uh, otherwise it would have uh, kicked us out in other words. Um but yeah, all good, all done. And there uh, the new ones saved, which is good news. Uh, coming back out of this anyway. Uh, going to an auto scan. Erase all these. Okay. So before it could still pop up anyway. It would come up with um, the ABS and stuff on there. But then again, it will come up. I don't. I don't believe in it. Sometimes, if you know what I mean. So. 
it's only when you do a drive or turn it on and off a few times but there may be other things going on in the background but everything's done from uh, this side Bonnet open. 